lighting right. Okay. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be talking about my pregnancy and pregnancy updates and all the good stuff you guys want to know. I'm currently 20 weeks pregnant, which blows my mind. I'm already halfway through this pregnancy and I should be excited, but I'm actually really scared and terrified because that means I just have to go through 20 weeks again and then the baby's going to be here and I'm going to have two kids. What? That is crazy. I'm so used to just having Ava, so I feel like seeing another human that I created, how weird, that's going to be so crazy. But I am excited for all the little newborn stuff because I have a toddler and she wants to be loving and cuddly and she wants me to hold her, but then she's also really feisty. So I'm excited for all those newborn snuggles and I'm really excited to see how Ava interacts with a new baby around, but I'm also really nervous about that. I want to talk about my symptoms though because I haven't really talked about that too much on my channel. I don't have a ton of crazy pregnancy symptoms, but one of my main ones that's been really difficult is migraines. I get headaches all the time. And it's really hard because I feel like I can't focus when I have a really bad headache. And I'm also pretty confident that I'm getting them so often because of sleep. I've been having a huge lack of sleep. It's been really, really difficult, but I need to work on it. But probably like this past week has when it started. So like pretty much my 20th week of being pregnant. I'm 20 weeks and 3 days pregnant. So like 19 and 20 weeks, I started to really struggle with sleeping and... I don't know why. I will lay here in bed and I'll try and try and try and try and try to go to sleep and I just can't. It is getting so bright again. The sun. Chill out. But I'll try and fall asleep for the longest time and then I can't. So then like my brain is just like going about work and who knows what. So I end up getting on my phone and then I end up like editing or something and then I'm up till like 4 in the morning and I get like 3 to 4 hours of sleep which is killing me. It's been so difficult, especially because I chase a toddler around all day, so <sighs> I'm exhausted. And I'm doing pretty good right now. I feel really good, but today was like the first day that my body was like, girl, you are done. You need to lay down. So I actually woke up this morning with Ava and I ended up just like turning on cartoons for her and giving her a bottle and going back to sleep. So I slept in like the longest I've slept in in months. I slept until 9. It wasn't like a super deep sleep because I was still listening for my daughter, but it helped a little bit, so I do feel a lot better. Another symptom I've had is I've been cramping a lot, or when I eat something, my stomach gets extremely huge and hard. I hardly have any stomach until I eat, pretty much, and then I'm just like, humongous. Thank you. She's done. But I'm pretty sure that's every pregnant woman that their stomach just gets extremely hard when they're pregnant. I don't know. I'm also starting to feel the baby move a ton. It's been really, really fun because I think I've mentioned this on my channel, but after I had my daughter, I still felt her kicking in my stomach. It's called phantom kicking. You guys can look it up. But basically, I would feel kicks all day long in my stomach. Like, kicking Mama. and movement. What? What? So that was super strange and then when I got pregnant people always say that you can feel the kicks and movements a lot sooner but I didn't know what was real and what wasn't real because even up to like this whole time I've been pregnant I've still felt kicking so now I don't know if they're phantom kicks anymore because I can actually feel the baby kick and I know it's the baby because it's extremely hard movement and I can feel it on the outside now, so, which like phantom kicking you can't feel it on the outside because it's not even actually there. So, super strange, but I'm really glad that I'm over that and now I can actually feel the baby move. A couple weeks ago, Anthony felt the baby move for the first time and that was so exciting. I love when he feels the baby move, although it doesn't happen too often because the baby will move and then I swear the second we put our hand there, it's like done moving. So weird. Okay, we now need to talk about this baby's gender. I get a million questions every single day asking what the heck the gender is. There has also been people commenting saying she said 
another girl or I don't even know but they think that I'm saying the gender of the baby and they just know and they'll comment things and be like oh I uh, finally know the gender it's a boy and then someone else will be like wait it's a boy how do you know how do you know the gender guys I don't even know the gender yet and I swear cross my heart I do not know the gender of this baby yet I find out in two days and I cannot wait I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be announcing the gender on Saturday so subscribe and turn on your notifications because you don't want to miss it but I'm pretty sure I'll announce it Saturday if not Friday so but most likely Saturday so turn on your notifications because I'm so excited I don't know the gender yet I'm dying to know because I feel like I'm leaning towards boy but only because my stomach and my pregnancy is so different but I've heard so many stories from different moms saying that their second pregnancy was so different but it's the same gender so that's what's kind of confusing me is other people's stories but anytime I show someone my belly and they see it they're like that's definitely a boy belly so we will see. I also get a ton of questions on what Ava thinks about the baby. She's going to come up here right now. So I'm just going to let her answer her thoughts. What do you think about having a baby? <laughs> about mommy having a baby? Yep, it's in mommy's belly, huh? She has to lift up my shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have this? Baby. A baby. Do you want a brother or a sister? Baby. You just want a baby? You don't care? Yep, the baby's in mommy's belly, huh? Should we show them? Baby. Okay, let's stand up and show them. I'm gonna show you guys my belly now. Now that I am more prego. Come here. Go show them. Come show them where your baby is. That is the baby, huh? Oh, you're so nice. Come here. Oh, where's your baby? Where's your baby at? Okay. That's it from her for now. So she does know what a baby is. There'll be times where we'll tell her like, oh, go get your babies. And she'll go find like her baby dolls or just barely today, I laid her on the ground to change her diaper. And next to her was like a brand new box of wipes. And there was a baby on the wipes. And she pointed to it and she's all, mama. And I'm like, what? And she goes, baby, baby, mama. And I'm like, yeah, that's a baby. So she knows what a baby is, but she doesn't understand anatomy. So I also keep getting a ton of questions on what names we are thinking of. And to be completely honest, we have no clue. We've brought up a few names to each other, like boy and girl names that we like, but we don't love. And I think we're mostly not trying so hard to find a name because we don't know the gender yet. So I think once we know the gender, then it's like, Okay, now we can look at all the boy names or all the girl names or whatever it may be. So it's not like boy and girl names, you know, and thinking of all that kind of stuff. So, but if you guys have any name suggestions, leave them down below. Pregnancy cravings. Oh my goodness, guys. So, like I said, when I was pregnant with Ava, I didn't crave anything. I actually thought people didn't have pregnancy cravings and that wasn't a thing. They just kind of made that up and could use that when they were pregnant. But now that I'm pregnant with this baby, I crave so much food. Like, I'm constantly hungry. But I think my main foods that I crave right now are, like, spicy chicken sandwiches from Wendy's or something like that. Um, I just love the chicken, lettuce, and bun. Like, those together just sound so good, guys. It's a problem. I definitely am craving more salty-type foods this time. I, again, I'm going to say this a million times. I didn't crave anything with Ava, but I constantly had a sweet tooth, pregnant or not. So, I guess you could say I craved more sweet things, but with this pregnancy, I crave food. Like, I don't really want candy or chocolate. I just want, like, actual food all the time. Um, but spicy chicken sandwiches were, like, the main thing for a while. And now I can't really think of anything that I'm, like, dying to have. But anything, like, sandwich form. Sandwiches just sound so good all the time. I've also been super exhausted and out of breath. I've noticed now I go up the stairs and I'm like dying and I wasn't really like that as much at first but now I'm just noticing like I'm like shaking by the time I'm up the stairs so I'm like <sighs> it's a problem. I haven't gained any stretch marks yet thank goodness. I didn't 
um, with Ava either on my stomach, but I did like on my butt and around my boob area. I've been really emotional this pregnancy, which I wasn't with my first pregnancy. So that's been different. I feel like I just want to cry my eyes out over everything. I'm so emotional all day long. I'm, I get like very sad if I'm by myself. So I love when my mom comes home or I love when Anthony comes home and I don't have to like be by myself. But if it's like a really hard day with Ava, I just like am done for the day. I need a huge break. I'm just exhausted mentally and physically. And I'm just like really emotional over it and I will just want to cry about everything. I'm also very sensitive, so if Anthony says something, even if it's like not that rude, I take it very personally. I need to figure that out because it's not very nice. And I don't know, but I just take everything like very personally and I'm just very like fragile right now. I don't know. Anyways, that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this informed you a little bit. And if you guys have any questions at all, leave them in the comments. I'm normally really good at replying back. So, But yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Bye. You want to say bye? Bye. <laughs> Aww, you're blowing kisses? Okay, good night. <laughs> Bye guys.